I've just poured a little bit of liquid nitrogen into a, this is what we're going to use as a boiler, it's just a clear um, plastic uh, bottle. As it boils it just creates a pressure and just runs a, a steam engine. This is the very simplest form of the engine and it's been done many times in history. It was originally uh, proposed and prototypes were built originally before even the petrol engine. Um, the problem with them is, is that not, they're not very efficient. And so then I started to look at ways of trying to improve the efficiency. Uh, these are various uh, prototype engines which I've made. This is the, the first one, which was a uh, modified lawnmower engine. This is a fairly early demonstration version of the engine. I uh, used this simple method of adding a heat exchange fluid on top of the piston and mixing it with the liquid nitrogen and then as the two move down the expanding gas is able to absorb heat from the heat exchange fluid. The heat exchange fluid is then recycled through a radiator and brought back to ambient temperature and then it flows through the engine again. This is a, a, another early prototype. First of all I tried modifying existing engines. This is a Lister stationary engine and I've changed the cylinder head and modified it to run on our principles. Now sealing the tank up to build up some pressure. Um, we have to do this because we're running on a pressurised system. I put a small amount of liquid nitrogen here, in here. Uh, the pressure then builds up and when I open the valve at the front it flows along this pipe here and under the car and through a system of pipes where it gains heat. This is the exhaust side. The exhaust flows up here, through this into the back into the tank, along with the heat exchange fluid. The heat exchange fluid is cap recaptured in here, um, and then it's recirculated through the radiator and rewarmed and back into the um, heat exchange fluid tank here. Um, the only emissions coming out of here, hopefully, are just nitrogen gas. Uh, this is a heat exchange, high pressure heat exchange fluid pump. That pumps it into the inlet of the rotary vane engine. That adds extra heat and helps to seal the vanes. Um, we're just going to run the engine with the bonnet up. This is the accelerator control, and we'll just add a, hear it running. 